Let's do this. Hello. Happy Thursday. Yes, happy Thursday. Beautiful women around the world, beautiful queens. It is, of course, Boss Queen TV, your soul abundance channel for the women who are ready to become a magnet to manifest the most expansive life because, you know, it is all about the magic. Becoming the magic. Anyhow, let me, oh look, 33% battery left. I've been seeing angel numbers all day today, which is really, really cool. Mind you, I see them every day. <laughs> let's be, let's be honest. And I am <laughs> going to share this video. I took the link off this time, but I forgot the rest of it. Sometimes, you know, I get a little bit cray cray on the details and it's okay because I am human. <laughs> I am human. Do you feel like this? Sometimes you're like, damn. I know like I'm an epic soul with a big ass heart, but I'm also just a fucking human at times. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah, so good. One of these days. Actually, been a really good day. Mind you, have been a bit of teary. I'm going to share that my Insta story afterwards. I'm going to take that out here. Yes, I'm going to share that actually my Insta story. And now we're going to get into the Z content for today. So the topic is really important. Your knowledge means or your knowledge alone. Righto, get out of there. Notifications coming in. Uh, your knowledge alone means... Let's try that again. Your knowledge alone means jack shit if you're not applying it daily. Real power comes from daily application and practice. Amen. Preach, preach, preach. Exacto mundo. So I see, uh, first of all, if you're watching this later on, hashtag replay, show me the love. Um, and I guess this is what it comes down to. Like, I feel like there's so many women out there who are epic humans and they are so committed to growing and learning and they are so wise, so, so wise. They know so much, but they don't put it into action. And then they wonder why their businesses aren't thriving. Well, because at the end of the day, as they say, knowledge alone well, I don't know if they say, if that's the saying, <laughs> that knowledge alone means jack shit. But what I do know, they say that knowledge plus action actually creates the power. All right? So that's what I want to kind of just remind you of today. To realize that, hey, listen, you got to go out there and you got to put everything that you learn into action. That's the cool part of the journey, right? The journey is the progress, the process. And fall in love with that part. You know, the daily application, the trial and error, you know, doing some things that really work, doing other things that are like <laughs> totally not working, you know, doing things that are fun, doing other things where you think you should be doing and they're not so much fun. And sometimes you're like, fuck, I shouldn't have done that. And on other times you're like, oh, I'm so glad I did it. Yeah, you see, that's all part of the fun. But I guess, you know, you won't know if you don't put yourself out there. So I want to give you something tangible to learn from this. So number one, as they say, you don't have to be great to start. You just have to start to be great. Understand that it is about the process and be kind to yourself. Understand that, you know, you don't have to be perfect. You don't have to have it all figured out. You can just play, see it as a game. I see business as a game because the way I operate is like, there's nothing externally that I could ever achieve that would give me anything that I'm not giving myself, right? Like I'm giving myself or I know in the depth of my heart how amazing I am. I'm so free. I'm love. I'm trust. I've got the universe and all of my angels and my spirit team, you know, on core. Like I have everything. I feel so amazing, so happy and content and joyful. Like I have everything already inside of me. So then the making money part of my business like that's just a that's just a game I play because I come from a space of like of course I'm gonna create a soul legacy. Of course I wanna make a massive impact and that is like creating impact is like my number one thing. Like I wanna change the world. I'm like Pinky in the Brain. Who remembers Pinky in the Brain? My girlfriend and I would always laugh about this. If you know Pinky in the Brain, let me know. The Pinky in the Brain. Um so I get that, right? 
I was gonna go over that. I got distracted by the pinky and the brain. Damn it. But here's the thing. <laughs> it's all good learning and learning and learning and growing. And I'm trusting that that's where we went from. <laughs> but if you're not, oh yeah, that's right. You don't have to be perfect. It's all about learning. That's right. And I see, as I said, treat it as a game. Hello, where my Monopoly queens? Treat it as a game. You know, it's all shits and giggles until someone gets hurt. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> right? But here's another thing. I know that you're saying, oh, this sounds so easy. But what about these voices in my head? You know, the fears, the doubts, the, the niggling feelings in my stomach. You know, the, you know the, the, the heart that goes, oh, I don't know, you know, because what is the worst that could happen? Like legit, you could make a list today and ask yourself, why are you holding yourself back by, from sharing your magic with the world? Literally, why are you holding yourself back from sharing your magic with the world? Everything that you are, everything that you know, everything that you have to offer, why are you holding yourself back on that? And I'm telling you, it probably is because there's obviously some fears happening, some doubts happening, some negative talk happening, and that's all good. That's all good. Write it all out. Get it all on a piece of paper. And then you can look at all of this and you can go, is this like legit real? Do you have like some evidence? Because most of the time it's just an assumption. It's just a made up assumption. It's a possibility. It's something that could happen, but you actually don't know for sure. And perhaps even some of the worries and fears of what could happen Maybe they're based on some past experiences that you've experienced before. But you don't want to repeat the past, do you? You're not stuck in the past, are you? If you are, then you need to call me pronto. We need to get you out of the past so that you can create a new future for yourself. But at the end of the day, you are not the person that you were six months ago. So who's to say that just because something happened to you before six months ago, because you showed something, shared something, you know, spoke your truth or went out there being you all of you what's to say that you're going to create this exactly the same reaction this time around i mean what are the odds let's be honest so the truth of the matter is that it's just an illusion but if we really kind of dig into it then you realize that you have no evidence like no physical proof and even if you then still are not convinced well, look at it and ask yourself, well, what's more important to you? Your soul legacy, like literally creating a legacy on this planet, right? Living your best epic freaking life, the vision, the dreams that you have right now, the goals, right? The purpose that you're answering every day and connecting deeper into every day, the work that you hear meant that you're meant to do on this, on this planet, on earth, or this piece of paper with the possibilities you tell me I'm telling you all of this the purpose the calling the legacy the dreams the desires the wishes whew, trumps any freaking fear that you could ever possibly write on a piece of paper and you already know that but sometimes we need to just remind ourselves of right because it is all about soul remembrance isn't it so do that for yourself, right? Ask yourself, like, what's holding you back from sharing your magic today, from showing up as the fullest expression, from speaking your truth and letting people know how you can change people's lives. And then do the list and then go through it. And then once you're like, crush, 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 crush it, because, you know, all the soul part, the purpose to work, all of that, what I've just said, is so much more important than you fear. Guess what? What's then left to do? You're going to repo compose yourself and go, well, you know what? If that's not real, like I can pack it somewhere. Like I can put it in the back seat and have this there. And because fear will never, ever, ever completely go away. But you can pack this all there and be like, right, thank you. You know what? Thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for now and then popping your ugly head up and reminding me that, you know, oh, but what if and what if and what if, right? All these different voices in your head, not in mine, clearly. <laughs> right and then you go thank you you can stay there because who's driving the car who's in control of your life who's holding the reins right you so you get to decide you're the creator of your life you decide 
So then you just compose yourself and you go, well, you know what? If I already was that person that already had everything that I wanted, boom, how would she act now? Well, she would say, thank you, fierce, and fuck off, fierce, and I'm going to go and pursue my goals anyway. And then you do whatever feels good for you in that moment. And it doesn't always have to be work-related. That's the funny part. But maybe it is. Maybe you are inspired to share a story. Maybe inspired to do an Instagram story. Maybe jump on Facebook Live. Maybe write a post. Maybe do whatever. A shout-out, reach out to a couple of clients, do some follow-ups, hit a promo out. You tell me. In fact, why don't you tell me? So once you watch this video, and obviously you're not just going to watch this and be like, oh, this is great knowledge. Guess what? This knowledge alone ain't going to change your life if you're not implementing it and putting it into action. So why don't you do that? Put it into action and then come back and come into the comments here or send me a private message and let me know what's come up for you. What are the shifts that you felt and what perhaps what's perhaps the action that you decided to take? I would love to hear. Either way, that's it for today. Either, that, either way, that's it for today. That actually rhymes. Oh man, I'm such a poet and I didn't even know it. So let me know how you go with that. And of course, let's continue just hanging out together, exchanging more thoughts and, you know, part of your journey. And let me support you with more tricks, tools, and of course, techniques over in my Facebook group called The Rising Queen Collective. Yes, The Rising Queen Collective, which is a sacred energetic space beautiful it's all about spirituality meets badassery this is all about money mindset opening yourself up to receive like a true queen but also taking massive aligned action on the soul-led strategy so that you create your own soul legacy on this planet so if that kind of rings your bell that kind of makes you feel like yes please then come on over Come on over, Christina Aguilera. Every time I say it, I want to sing. I'm going to not do it today. Um, and yeah, and that's it from my end. Obviously, if there's something personally that you just want to, you know, reach out to me about, want to chat to me about, whether it is overcoming, you know, some of your fears, maybe, you know, you're kind of going, well, I really do want to steer and I really do want to hold the reins, but somehow I feel like my, I feel like my, my, my brakes are slammed and I just can't seem to unblock those then you let me know. Send me a message, share with me what's going on and then we can have a conversation and if it feels aligned and we can create some magic together, then by all means, let's do that, okay? So my beautiful friends, thank you for letting me share this with you today. I cannot wait to see what you make of this and of course, hashtag replay, hashtag love to you all and remember that, of course, in order to become, not manifest the magic, you've got to become the magic first. But the good news is that permission to be do and have it all on your own terms has already been granted.